Right here? It's crazy to do that with uh... You guys rolling? You, get, rolling? you guys rolling? So it's common knowledge that animals communicate. People talk, babies cry, dogs bark, cats telepathically plot global destruction. Communication is everywhere. But what if it's not just animals that communicate? I'm Mateo and today we're listening in on the conversations of plants and exploring the wood wide web. What is the Wood Wide Web? It's a complex network some plants use to talk with one another. And it all comes down to fungus. There's fungus among us. Get this, for hundreds of years, fungi attached to plants were essentially thought to be harmful parasites. But now we know that some fungi are actually close friends with their host plants. Close friend. These friendly fungi send microscopic tubes into the soil that weave into the cells of plant roots. This combination connects plants underground into a kind of root fungus network, aka the wood wide web. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. The plants pass sugars to the fungi, and the fungi pass nitrogen and phosphorus to the plants. And the web that the fungi form allows plants to converse and share with each other, like they're all in the same group chat or something. Say what? But aren't plants the silent type? Why would they need to talk to each other? Do plants like to gossip? Do they tell jokes? What do plants sound like? Uh, we don't really know all that. But we do know that plants often communicate for two of the same reasons that animals do. First, plants may need to warn each other about danger, just like animals. A plant under attack from insects can tell other plants nearby to raise their defense mechanisms before the insects spread out. Hell yeah, how cool is that? The wood wide web also helps plants share nutrients. A young tree struggling to get enough light under taller trees may get extra resources like nitrogen or sugar from its older neighbors, which helps support a strong community. Or a dying tree may offer up its stored nutrients to better serve the population as a whole, like it's using the wood wide web to dole out an inheritance or something. So the fungus web actually helps keep plant communities strong and thriving. It's an important part of many plant ecosystems that humans are really just beginning to understand. Humans have known for quite some time that plants communicate above ground by releasing hormones. But recent research showing that plants share and talk via the wood wide web is big news, and it raises big questions about plants. Does it mean that jungles and forests are really single massive organisms rather than a collection of individual plants? Do all species get along and talk to one another? What else do plants share? Secrets? Are plants friends with each other? Do plants like spoil Game of Thrones? Are they frenemies? Do plants have consciousness? Man, there's so many questions about plants. We may never know exactly all the answers to these questions, but just think, next time you take a walk in the woods, you could be walking over a vast network of underground fungi, connecting the whole forest like a giant spider web. Plants sending nutrients to the fungi, the fungi helping send messages and nutrients from plant to plant, a massive organic communication system that you can't see, but that affects our world in profound ways. So confession time, guys. I love plants. I have them in every room of my apartment. Maybe you're weird like me, and maybe you love plants as much as I do. If you do, I would love to hear, one, how you're weird about plants, and two, any story ideas you have about plants uh, or about our environment. You guys can be our best guide sometimes as to stories we should be covering. So hit us up in the comments, and thank you so, so much for watching. You guys mean the world to us, and uh, we look forward to talking again soon.